They're glad to have a meeting place, even if not much is happening now. An old shed next to a train station that closed down long ago. That's all Eisenerz has to offer young people as far as recreation is concerned. The city's broke. It's a dying city. More and more people are leaving, no one stays, and no one moves here either. Eisenerz is the site of the Erzberg mine, which boasts Austria's largest iron ore reserves. For centuries, the city lived from mining and lived well. Then came the crisis in the steel industry. Eisenerz once had 13,000 inhabitants. Today, there are just 4,000, and their numbers are dwindling rapidly. Only the old remain. No other city in Austria has a higher percentage of old people. The future looks bleak for youths like Sabrina, known as Sabs. Eisenerz is a nice city and it's a nice place to live. But we need jobs and there simply aren't any. If there were work, I'd gladly stay. Something needs to change, Sabs says. That's why she voted for right-wing populist Norbert Hofer. His argument is good, that they should carry out more checks on refugees coming to us, and that greater focus should be put on us, on Austrians. And most people in Eisenerz think likewise. Traditionally, this city has belonged to the Social Democrats, but this time it went to Hofer and his Freedom Party. He lost the presidential election, but only narrowly. Sabs's friend Michelle isn't a fan of the Freedom Party. She thinks globally and posts videos on all kinds of topics on YouTube. She even has viewers in Chile and thinks that's cool. But she has no idea how to explain Austria's political divide to them. The problem is one of opinions. Opinions are dividing people, but that's hard to talk about. In spite of their very different opinions, Sabs and Michelle are friends. They sit together in their class on politics. Teacher Wolfgang Perndorfer talks about multicultural societies, about tolerance and mutual respect. But his words fail to reach Sabs. This generation of young voters is greatly influenced by the Internet. At 16, Austria has the youngest voting age in Europe. Turnout is high among young voters, and many cast their ballots for far-right candidates. Their teacher believes they do it out of protest and to express their lack of confidence in traditional parties in an increasingly politically uncertain world. It's interesting. Last year, students said, Professor, do you think World War III is coming? I'd never given much thought to questions like that. A decade ago, no one would even think of asking such a question. It shows that a certain pessimism is spreading, a feeling of helplessness and uncertainty about what the future will bring. The world has grown more complex. Even those in the remotest of places can follow events as they unfold in real time through the Internet. Sabs is considering enlisting as a soldier. Order and security are important to her. A nice house, a family, a dog, and hopefully no money troubles or worries about work. That'd be nice. She longs for an idyllic paradise to escape a world in turmoil.